I knew you like the day you got to New York City. So here you are sitting in, you've already won the Tony, and now you're back here all over again. What does it all mean to you? Oh God, it means the world. It means the world. I've been here now for 20 years in New York. Kiss Me Kate is my 14th Broadway show. Yesterday was my third nomination, and I, I'm just, I'm so honored and grateful to be part of this community. I love my job, I love my dancers, I love doing what I do, and, and what an amazing moment. Creating show-stopping numbers like you do in Kiss Me Kate, what is that like? Oh, I love it, I love it. I mean, you have to pull me out of the studio at six o'clock, and I'm, I'm the first one there, I'm there at eight every morning, because I just can't wait. I cannot wait to do what I do. I really love it. What have you enjoyed the most about working on Kiss Me Kate? Oh, I've enjoyed the puzzle of it. You know, Battle of the Sexes, um, Taming of the Shrew in 2019. It's, that's a little juicy. That's a juicy topic. Um, the puzzle of that has been really fun. And, and the element of Battle of the Sexes in every single number. For me, the challenge in Kiss Me Kate was the range. This is not a show that has one style. This is a show that has five styles. I'm doing really hardcore 40s jazz. I'm doing Nicholas Brothers tapping. I'm doing classical ballet with a tarantella in Cantiamo, the grape dance. I'm doing old fashioned musical comedy staging, character driven staging in Tom, Dick and Harry. I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of different styles in one show. And then of course there's Too Darn Hot, which is 10 minutes and 47 seconds of, of rip roaring Broadway dance. It's really been a, a fun challenge. If you could tell your younger self, that you'd be nominated for a Tony or win a Tony Award, what would they say? I don't think they'd ever believe. I don't think, I don't think the younger Warren would ever believe this life. It's a lot, right? I mean, it's, it's all gotta be surreal for you, right? It's incredible, it's a dream, it's a dream. You know, in, in, in the Hugh show that I'm doing at the moment with him, there's a beautiful quote, and it's, for me it's very meaningful, and I probably shouldn't disclose it, but I will. Okay. Hugh says, Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And I think it's, it's profound.